Hey guys, what's up? It's Erica. Welcome to or welcome back to my channel. I am posting every single day for the month of February, so make sure to subscribe so you guys don't miss out on any of my videos this month. For today's video, as ironic as it is, this month I have been focusing on YouTube, posting every single day, trying to grow my channel, just trying to like experiment with content and post different types of videos. But I actually got a million views on a TikTok that I posted yesterday. Um, so this video is going to be me talking about how I got a million views on a TikTok video. I have not focused a lot on TikTok. I mean, I do feel like that TikTok is the social media of the future. Um, and obviously pretty much anybody who enjoys social media is on TikTok. And also, even if you don't realize it, if you have an Instagram, half of the Instagram reels are just coming straight from TikTok. TikTok has kind of taken over all social media. I think also that TikTok has become super popular because at least for my generation, I'm not sure if it's this way for like younger people and people in high school and middle school that are on TikTok, but I don't really follow too many people that I know. I don't have too many people that I know follow me. So there's so much less pressure when posting on TikTok compared to posting on Instagram. Um, so I feel like there's more freedom. People feel like they can post without being judged. I also really enjoy the For You page because I'm constantly seeing new creators, new videos, new topics. Um, and it's not just like things that I follow, it's constantly new things. And also I love that on TikTok, it's probably really bad for me, but that I can consume a ton of media from a ton of different creators, from about different topics and just like different ends of the spectrum from like inspirational quotes to like satire and to books I should read and just, it's all over the place, but I can do it somewhat quickly because every video is like, most videos are like less than one minute. So it takes up a lot less time to watch a TikTok video than a YouTube video. I'm sure it's not helping with any of our attention spans. So with all that being said, I have posted on TikTok just for fun. You know, obviously sometimes I post and I'm like, oh my gosh, I want this video to go viral or like think, oh, this will do well. But I haven't spent nearly as much time like investing time to film and like set filming up as much as I do in YouTube. But I just recently got a million views on a TikTok video that I posted, which I was not expecting. I have had a few videos on TikTok that got like mini viral for me, got like 10,000 views or like 20,000 views, somewhere in there, which is a lot for me because most of my videos on TikTok get about anywhere from like 10 to like 200 views. The other videos that I had posted that had kind of gone like mini viral was a video that I posted probably at the beginning of 2020, so pretty early on when I joined TikTok. Um, and it was like a clip from the show Married at First Sight and it was just like a funny clip. I filmed that on my phone, so it was using my original audio, which I feel like honestly using somebody else's audio a lot of times like helps on TikTok. I obviously like hashtagged Married at First Sight. And honestly, I think that video is done well just because if you like Married at First Sight and you've seen that season, like it's just like a funny scene from Married at First Sight. It was just kind of stupid, but, but that video has, I think like 15,000 views, which was a lot for me. But after that, I have posted many videos, a lot of times just trying to make like aesthetic looking videos, somewhat funny videos and nothing has really like done super well. I was kind of just thinking like, well, you know, TikTok is overly saturated because everybody wants to post on TikTok. Everybody wants to do well on TikTok. It's just like the social media right now. So I was like, my videos are just not gonna do anything. Um, but about a week ago, I posted a video. Um, I can play the video so you guys can see what it is. See, this is what um, I talk about a lot with no one but myself, but I feel like I- This was a video that basically just had a bunch of screenshots from my dream home Pinterest board and a lot of people really liked it. I got a lot of comments just being like, what is this style? Or like, yes, this is exactly what I like. So that was literally nothing from my own brain. Um, obviously it's just like things that I like, but I did not create any of those things. Um, I just used the green screen on TikTok. I didn't talk. I wasn't even in the video. So I do think that the audio that I used on that video has a lot of 
potential to be like a really popular audio. It doesn't have a ton of videos under that sound. So it also wasn't gonna be like flooded with anybody who clicked on that audio and wanted to see like videos made with that sound. So after I posted that video and it did well, I was like, okay, I'm just gonna keep posting more design and like house interiors and just like dream home inspiration videos. And none of those have done nearly as well. They've been getting like 10 likes. So I was just thinking like, okay, well, you know, I'm just gonna keep posting because I do actually really like all the home inspiration videos and my dream is to one day create, like make this channel and also TikTok more into my home renovations when I can hopefully buy a home. So then yesterday, if you guys have been on TikTok in the last week, there has been a very trending sound that is a clip from Julia Fox, who is Kanye West's possible current girlfriend or maybe ex-girlfriend now, who knows. She was on the Call Her Daddy podcast. And on that podcast, she talks about her role slash being a muse for her role in Uncut Gems, which is a movie that she was in. But the way she says Uncut Gems is really weird. I will play the audio so you guys can hear it. Wrote Uncut Gems. Right. I didn't even know what she was saying the first time I heard it. But everybody is making fun of her and the way she said that. There are tons of videos of people pretending to be her and like doing weird facial expressions for how she says uncut gems. That's kind of just a super trending video topic right now. I was bored and I was like, I don't know anything about Julia Fox. I did not know who she was until I recently heard that she was dating Kanye West and this sound on TikTok blew up. So I looked her up on Wikipedia. And of course, Wikipedia, anybody can go through and edit anything. And somebody changed Uncut Gems to some weird spelling of kind of how she pronounced it. So I can show you guys a TikTok video. Maybe. What is a muse? I mean, I was Josh Safdie's muse when he wrote Uncut Gems. Right. Do you know what I mean? So I used the trending audio to show what I saw on the Wikipedia page. Yeah, I went on TikTok like three hours later and I had like 60,000 views, which I was like, oh my gosh, that's crazy because I wasn't expecting it to do well because I was thinking that it was funny and that it was kind of cool. I had not seen anybody else find, I'm sure there have been other videos of people showing it, but I personally hadn't seen any. So when I saw it, I was like, perfect opportunity. I just got completely lucky that I saw that. But I was also thinking this sound is so popular and trending so much right now. There's over 17,000 videos that are made to that sound. So I was like, no one's gonna find this. It's gonna get completely lost with everybody else's videos about this right now. I don't have a popular channel, so no one's gonna see this. Um, but I think that it did do well because at the time, like I said, I hadn't seen any videos showing the Wikipedia page yet and people editing it. So I think it did well because it was already a trending sound and all, like a trending topic, but a part of it that hadn't necessarily been like talked about yet or blown up on TikTok yet. I just got really lucky that for some reason I just felt like looking Julia Fox up on Wikipedia and seeing that and deciding to make a TikTok about it. It has over 71,000 likes, 290 comments right now, and it has been like shared and messaged to people over 3,000 times. With all of that being said, I am super excited and like pumped that this video did well, but I also think the videos that I've posted and that have done well are not necessarily like, I'm not gaining a following because of these videos. If I was like actually doing something cool or like showing a recipe and showing how to make something or doing a DIY project and something that like people were genuinely invested in and like wanted to follow along for more content, I'd be super excited if I had gotten that many views and likes and shares and everything. But because it was really just like a trending thing, this is definitely not about to jumpstart my influencer career. I just got lucky with posting that video. I am gonna try to be posting more consistently on TikTok. I don't know, I feel like maybe because that one video did well like a week ago that maybe it helped my recent video do well. I don't know. There are tons of videos of people talking about TikTok analytics and what TikTok favors and all that, but I don't really know. I feel like you really have to either have like new information or teach someone how to do something or be really funny or be like amazingly gorgeous that people cannot stop watching your videos to really gain a following. 
I need to like find a niche that I have like knowledge on and can teach people about or like share things about, which I really like about YouTube. Um, but I feel like that that's the trick to TikTok because I'm not a dancer, I'm not a model, I'm not gonna go viral over like posting those types of videos that some people do. Also, if you guys are wondering whether I got paid for that video, I did not because I'm not in the creator fund. I think you need 10,000 followers on TikTok and 100,000 video views in the last month, which I have now because of this last video, but in a month, I'll probably lose all that. So if you guys want to go give me a follow and get me to 10,000 followers so I could maybe be in the creator fund, that would be awesome. I'm not expecting that though because I have maybe 200 followers right now. Yeah, I'm just gonna like continue posting on TikTok and just like having fun with it. If any platform is my focus, it is YouTube. That's the story of how I got 1 million views on TikTok. So thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you guys tomorrow in my next video.